Hello all, and welcome to a, another video from Igne. Uh, you might notice that I am on a lot smaller account today. Uh, and that is because it was requested for me to make a farm building guide. So I am actually on uh, one of my farms. I recently gave away my other farm um, to somebody, but we'll be going through that today. But before we get started, um, if I'll be dropping a Discord link in the link below. Uh, this Discord is used as a community tool and asset, this, so there'll be no bullying, um, no being rude, anything like that, or else you'll be kicked and banned immediately. Uh, also, I have stated in there that uh, if YouTube ever gets around to monetizing my channel, uh, the first three months of earnings will be given away in a bi-weekly raffle uh, for those that are subbed and in my Discord. And then after that will be a monthly raffle of 25% of the earnings. So invite your friends, subscribe, and join the Discord, and we'll see where this goes in the future. But anyway, we'll get right into it. So for farms, it's a lot easier to build a farm when you have the strongest war zone going. And that's because, obviously, the... Um, like building day and such and for getting your shells you're able to progress that account a little further but you also got to look at it as do you want your farm to be as a second account or actually a farm so for this account personally i i made it as an actual farm meaning it's meant to be hit for resources you know i never really have so one of the things that you want to focus on the most when building an actual farm and not a second account is you don't need to worry about anything like your, your troop tunnels or yeah your troop tunnels your pro rally centers your entrance any of those anything that is combat oriented like don't even bother like i haven't even touched any of my mutations or anything i never do the duels never do any of that not really any point because my whole purpose was to increase production of my resources so with that being said when you first make uh, a farm account, you technically can stop at Ant Hill 16 is what most people would recommend. And you can actually reach Ant Hill 16 within about a day. So when you start it, you play with the colony actions, try to hit the ones that have the building speed ups and are for building. Um, obviously you play the war zone event um, and try to do it that way for you to choose your own. I usually do it like a gathering day. Uh, just to be able to get the nine shells for that. Um, but every day I'm still progressing on that. And over time, I mean, you end up, like, with your researches going and stuff you don't really need. Like Advanced Combat, for instance. This one's already about to unlock uh, T10s on it. But for the researches, um, the Rapid Production and your Ant Hill Development are ones that you want to max out. And then Zone Development as well. I didn't really care about like the rapid hatch or the pack light because um, that's not the intentions of this farm i just wanted to get down to the double points essentially so that's what you're trying to look at when um, you're building a farm now i personally took my farm to 25 uh, because i wanted to be able to have the more resources and such now your farms uh, as far as class should always be either cultivator or herder. Herder when you're going to hit it because it has less resource production. Cultivator when you're doing like gathering days and such like that, um, just to be able to help you with more points. But so, but you really want to stick between the two of those. Um, of course, your marches, you want to make sure that you have um, enough ants to be able to fill like a level eight tile. Um, that's also very important to make sure you get your nine shells every day. Um, my farm, by the way, is also a carrier main, which it is what it is. Um, so yeah, you want to be able to try to up the tiles that you want to the max level. Um, so for like this one, I built it for producing sand. So all the, all of the tiles are at 25. I've literally ignored everything else because this is not meant for combat at all. It might eventually, I might play around and tinker on it to make it uh, into a combat account. But for now, I'm not worried about that whatsoever. 
Uh, let's see. Now, of course, you're going to want to always keep it uh, shielded when, you know, you're not hitting it. Uh, having it in, in an active alliance, uh, active alliance does help quite a bit. But, like I said, your your main focus is going to be to be rushing that that anthill at 16 at the beginning. So, within about two hours of playing it, you should be able to hit anthill 8. Uh, so, usually if you start it like in the morning on a building day, you should be able to hit level 8 within a few hours. And then, you know, start it and start building up uh, towards that 16. But you're wanting to be rushing for that queen 16. So... It'll be things like your feeding grounds, your queen, obviously, uh, the other things between the way that you have to, to upgrade. Just ignore literally everything else but what you absolutely need to be able to rush that up. Now, the other thing that you can do, I didn't do myself, um, your special ant habitat. You can get that up and start putting your station ants in there. Now, ideally, a perfect farm would have these station ants maxed out but I, for me i was kind of toying between the idea of having it as like a free to play fun carrier main and having it like a full-blown farm so i really never bothered to waste the spores on that i went my spores more into my actual ants so if i ever decide to switch that's what i do but ideally you'd want to be trying to max out your station ants for the ones you want like for the green head for the wet soil, uh, the yellow spider for sand, etc., etc. So those are things that you definitely would want to focus on. Now for days like Groundhog Day and all that, you're probably never going to get nine shells on those unless you just spend a lot of time on your farm. So I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, the other days you can. I mean, I get nine shells on every other day. Uh, building day, I don't really bother because I'm not trying to use up my resources as it's there to be as a farm for everybody else because I don't even hit it myself. Anyway, uh, I hope that this helped. And if you have any other video requests or ideas that you want to cover, leave a comment in the description below or onto the Discord. I literally cover just about anything that is ever suggested. So, if you have a question, or if you want something covered, please don't hesitate to ask. Alright, sorry for the uh, short video, but Agne out.